Universal Center for Renovation presents Historical Israelites. This is strictly for educational purposes and commentary of biblical and secular historical literature. So enjoy. Subscribe, like, and share. Ancient men of France used sophisticated astronomy. Now, they were the grandchildren of Noah, in honor of whom names were imposed on the nations by those that first seized upon them. Japheth, the son of Noah, had seven sons. For Gomer, founded those whom the Greeks now call Galatians, Gauls, but were then called Gomorites. Gaul is Gaul, or France. Genesis chapter 10, verse 2. The sons of Japheth, Gomer. The object is to show that these prehistoric people are actually the children of Gomer, son of Japheth. Gomer was the grandson of the biblical Noah, who, an historical man whose life was recorded in the Bible. The method we are using is cultural affiliation not radiocarbon dating. The Paleolithic people of France, religious system and religious symbols were the same used by the ancient Babylonians, Assyrians, Persians, Greeks, and the Romans. The catastrophic event, the flood, was at the center of their culture, science, religious, and spiritual beliefs. Modern scientific inquiry into this event call it the Herod's meteor showers. And they, the ancient people of the time, said it was a global flood. Let's call France. Modern Entrance to the Lascaux Bay. A detailed diagram of the cave, noting certain important areas. Hall of the Bulls, passageway, axle gallery, nave, apes, shaft of the dead man, and so on. The sanctuary, as drawn above, has Limited extensions in three main directions. The principal paintings are listed in the plans. Yellow entrance. The red circle marks Hall of Bulls. The passageway. The passageway links the Hall of the Bulls to the nave and the apes. It contains a great concentration of images that are often difficult to decipher. A total of 385 engraved and painted figures have been counted and identified, including horses, bison, ibexes, bovines, stags, and various signs in the shapes of hooks, crosses, and squares. The Hall of the Bulls, also called the Rotunda, is an extension of the entrance zone. It is about 20 meters long and it varies in width between 5.5 and 7.5 meters between the ceiling and the lower part. A corbelled zone contains nearly all of the iconography, which extends uninterrupted for some 30 meters 
on either side of the hall. The extremely white house site walls help to show off the beautiful wall paintings. By contributing to the saturation of the colors, the images in the hall of the bulls are amongst the most striking in all of Paleolithic art. 130 figures, including 36 representations of animals and some 50 geometric signs. This extensive frieze is composed of three animal themes, horses, 17 individuals, cattle, 11 cows and bulls, and deer, six stags, which recur consistently in the various parts of the cave. Exceptionally, a bear is also depicted. The Vintage News tore through the most stunning prehistoric cave paintings in the world. Cave paintings may actually be sophisticated star maps. Early cave art shows that people had advanced knowledge of the night sky within the last ice age. Intellectually, they were hardly any different to us today. These findings support a theory of multiple comet impacts over the course of human development. It will probably revolutionize how prehistoric populations are seen, said Martin Sweatman of the University of Edinburgh in a statement. If you thought prehistoric cave art was just dubs of hunting scenes, you need to think again. The latest research suggests that some of the oldest cave paintings in the world were ancient representation of astronomy. Researchers from the University of Edinburgh in Kent studied details of drawings in caves in Turkey. Spain, France, and Germany that shows various animal symbols. They claim that all of them use the same method of keeping the time using sophisticated astronomy. Even though the art was drawn at various times over tens of thousands of years. Turkey, the country where Mount Ararat is located, also known as the resting place of Noah's Ark, is a principal point in our story when we look into the history of mankind. This is the start of a cultural continuity that start in the mountains of Turkey and continue in Spain, Germany, and France. While Lecoq's cave paintings encoded Paleolithic star charts, in recent years, new research has suggested that the Lecoq's paintings may incorporate prehistoric star charts. Dr. Michael Rappengluck of the University of Munich argued that some of the non figurative dot clusters and dots then some of the figurative images correlate with the constellations of Taurus, the Pleiades, and the grouping known as the Summer Triangle. Near to the entrance of the Lecoq's cave complex is a magnificent painting of a bull. Hanging over its shoulder is what appears to us be a map of the Pleiades, a cluster of stars sometimes called the Seven Sisters. Inside the bull painting, there are also indications of spots that may be a representation of other stars found in that region of the sky. Today, this region forms part of the constellation of Taurus, the bull, with the remarkable suggestion 
of a direct transfer of information for over 17,000 years. 17,000 years is too long to fit within the biblical narrative. But let's see if recorded, documented history will solve this problem.